Hello, I'm Andy Singh and I'm going to use Divinity Kabbalistic Tarot cards and I'm going to read for you who come from Pisces the month of December to predict the month of December for you. The first card that I'm going to pull will be to do with your areas of romance, marriage and family. It's facing you, so that means you are in control. Now, looking at the card, there is a worry. So while you are in control, there is still a worry. And I'm going to divide the card into two, which then I will divide the month of December into two. So the first 15 or 16 days of December, there is financial worry. Either because too many burdens are placed among you, on, or, 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 on you, so the worry comes. Now, I pull this card for your romance, marriage, family areas. So, in your romance area, the finance areas could put a burden and put pressure on your romance. Now, either that there is a demand for you to go traveling and the funds are not there, or spending and the funds are a bit tight. So tell yourself to expect this in the first 15 or 16 days, which makes your romance area a, li a little bit um, depressed. The last half of the, of the uh, December is a much better period for you, but it again shows that progress in your romance is very slow. So it looks like the whole month is going to be not so favorable to your romance area. It doesn't show breakups, but again and again, the sign of Mercury is seen. So it's the, your financial stress that is overflowing to make your romance area a bit unstable and a bit depressed. I'm going to talk about your marriage area now. Now in your marriage area, again, these Planetary signs show that financial areas are troubling you. And of course, news like that is always bringing gloom in a marriage area and bringing a lot of nervousness as well. Whatever happens at your place of work, try not to let that overflow to your marriage areas. Otherwise, your marriage area is going to be very gloomy in the first 15 or 16 days of December. Now, the last two weeks of December don't improve for you. The card shows that the problems seem to continue and they seem to become worse in the sense that gloominess and depression sets in as well in your marriage area. And again, because of this Mercury signs, I feel it's got to do with money or with income. But also these Mercury signs can mean that levels of argument for the whole month of December are too high, which means that arguments break off any time. So you are the one listening to me. So at least you control the urge for argument as much as you can. And if you do so, the other party in your marriage will not be able to carry on on his self or herself by herself. So would slowly simmer down. But if you encourage the argument by being argumenti argumentative yourself, then I can see a lot of arguments bringing a lot of stress on your marriage for the whole month of December. And um, uh, that wouldn't be good. In general family areas, which include parents and siblings, uh, there seems to be stress and disagreements as well. So don't want to prov be provocative. Don't want to provoke. Let the problem simmer down slowly and maybe wait for another month to bring these discussions up. So romance, marriage and family areas are under stress for you for the whole month of December. The next card I'm going to pull will be to do with your career, business and financial areas. And this is under your control. Under your control means it's manageable. Now, firstly, in your career areas, uh, some differences with your boss some differences with your superiors, they may be even your colleagues. So don't want to take the lead and don't want to be too pushy and don't want to show your temper. Otherwise, for the first 15 days of December, 
in areas of carrier, you can attract a lot of animosity or differences and that will bring a low support. The last 15 days of December are not very helpful as well. They seem to be seeping, which means uh, slowly building up differences between you and colleagues or your bosses. So the last 15 days make your stability weaker, make your level of responsibility smaller. So rather than growth in, in December in areas of career, you may have your level of responsibility weakened, which means no promotions, in fact, reducement, reducement of power. So career areas are not doing well for you for the whole month of December. In business areas, in the first half of the month, it shows money out rather than money in. It shows instability of contracts and even business partnerships may be shaky. The second half of December, the last 13 or 14 days, shows a division, which means that you may have to share contracts with other parties so the division can take place there. Or the division may be between you and the people giving you contracts. Or the division may be between you and your partner. So a division is shown, which means a weakness is taking place in your business area in the last 13 or 14 days of December. So the whole month of December puts pressure on you business-wise. Okay. Regarding general finances, uh, they are going to be weak. It's a card showing that what you dream about and your aspirations, they cannot be met. So rather than dreaming big, try to be having your feet on the ground and being practical for the month of December where your general finances are concerned. So not very good, very good news for career, business and financial areas for you for the month of December. The third card I'm going to pull will be for your health areas. Let's see how you do. And the card is pointing me, which means you don't have much control. It's a card of short-circuiting plans. So regarding your health, stress and anxiety is what short-circuits us mentally or physically. And mentally, I would worry about migraines, headaches. And, men and mentally, I would be worried about stress and anxiety. In physical areas, the sign of Gemini is shown and that normally brings my mind to warn you that some trouble with your heart or some trouble with your liver is what I worry about in the month of December for you who come from Pisces. So these two areas I worry that your health areas may get you down. So don't wait until the symptoms come about but go and check yourself out for these areas. It's a card of, it doesn't show no recovery, but it shows an ongoing towards the whole month of December where health-wise you are going to be unstable mentally or physically. By all means, go to Facebook and follow me and ask me questions. We can communicate through Facebook. I wish you the best of luck in December. Thank you and goodbye.